Necrotizing soft tissue infections, or NSTIs, are characterized clinically by fulminant tissue destruction and systemic signs of toxicity. NSTIs can include involvement of the epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous tissue, fascia, and muscle. The pathophysiology of these infections is the same and is the result of either bacterial penetration of skin and mucosal defenses after tissue injury or with origination in the deep tissues without a clear portal or source. Bacteria gain entry into areas of relatively poor blood flow and hypoxia, which is followed by bacterial overgrowth, release of exotoxins causing local tissue damage, and widespread necrosis. Type 1 NSTIs, or polymicrobial infections, are most common and typically seen in patients with comorbid conditions. Gram-negative enteric bacteria are seen in combination with gram-positive organisms and anaerobes. Type 2 is monomicrobial, usually due to group A strep, has a more virulent course and occurs in younger, healthier patients. Certain comorbidities and risk factors may predispose patients to this disease, including advanced age, obesity, diabetes, alcoholism, vasculopathy, IV drug use, immunosuppression, end-stage renal disease, perirectal abscess, perforated viscous, and recent surgery. Exam findings can include erythema, swelling, induration, and early tenderness. Late findings can include skin discoloration and a violaceous erythema, bulla and crepitus, pain out of proportion to examination, or anesthesia of the affected area. Most patients quickly develop signs of systemic toxicity, including high fever, nausea, vomiting, malaise, altered mental status, tachycardia with associated hypotension, and oliguric renal failure. Lab findings may include a leukocytosis with left shift, acidosis, hyponatremia, elevated lactate, and elevated inflammatory markers. Imaging is not necessary when there is a high level of suspicion and may delay early treatment. When the diagnosis is unclear in a stable patient, CT findings consistent with NSTI can include gas across tissue planes, fluid collections, asymmetric fascial or muscle thickening, and diffuse areas of soft tissue inflammation. The mainstay of treatment is aggressive early surgical debridement. Debridement should extend back to viable soft tissue and muscle that exhibits brisk bleeding. Return to the operating room within 24 hours or earlier for a second look should be strongly considered.